start checking your bank account daily. Now this is one like specific piece of advice I'm gonna talk about that's from Alex Hormozy that I've done for the past, I think a couple of weeks now, is checking your balance on your bank app and just seeing that total amount daily. Because I think the piece of advice he said was money pay rewards the one who pay who pays the most attention to it. Now, with some guys, like particularly with my boys or my cohort, I know some of them are, it's really bad to say out loud, like not, how would you, again, like how can we define poor? And also how can I say it from like this such this position, like this high position of, I'm financially well off, I'm middle class, like I'm always aspiring more, but seeing some of the spending habits of some of my, other guys it's like how how are you doing this how but this habit of checking your balance almost daily is to actually confront reality like that's the first point is confronting reality because <laughs> like don't go into the trap of your bank account reflecting your your self worth and your value but it should be an indicator of what's not going right, what's going wrong. Because there is a reason why your bank account is so low. There is a reason, like there's no such thing as no reason. Like maybe you're spending too much, maybe you're going out too much, maybe you're putting it in the wrong stuff. Like those kind of things, like we know intuitively, but we just don't seem to want willing to accept. But I think it's probably out of ego because we, we believe, again, we might not say this out loud, our ego believes we are perfect. And for us to look at our bank account and look to see how poor we are, it's like it's such a night and day difference between what your ego thinks and what reality actually is. And that's where the um, discrepancy happens, is when what we think reality should be and what reality actually is don't, are not cohesive so then we tend to try and shun reality and rather live in bliss. So we want to confront reality. And then secondly, the other point is you want to kind of gamify it. Like I've gamified it. I'm like daily, like as a part of my, my normal morning routine of like doing Anki, like my Japanese um, flashcards and then my meditating, I'll check my balance and write it in a spreadsheet. And I also get to track it with a line graph. Like actual data because I also want to gamify how much I can save in terms of money because another important like this is probably another tip I'll give with Alex Hormozzi in another video is he emphasizes education and reinvesting most of your money into education rather than like normal stocks or index funds like as much as you can put 50 bucks 50 bucks a week or 50 bucks a month and it's going to compound an interest and you'll be a millionaire by, I don't know, age, age 60. So you'll basically retire. The actual highest ROI, he argues, is investing it in yourself and then going into more high income opportunities, like active income rather than passive income. But that's for another video. So you want to gamify it almost like you want to try and beat your high score, your high, because all money is, is just points on the board. Like it's literally tokens. Like it's the, the richest people in the world see money as a game. <laughs> Cause once all your needs are satisfied, you just play the game for the sake of the game. It's an infinite game. To explain the concept of infinite game, think of going to the gym. You don't win going to the gym by getting a six pack abs, you win by consistently going, you win by just going. Another win is marriage. You don't win at marriage, you just keep a happy, healthy marriage. Like the same with business, you don't win at business, you simply stay in the game long enough that you'll succeed. But the success is just staying in the game. Now, gamifying it, you'll probably have more motivation more motivation to try and beat your high level. Cause what, if you want to go into business, you probably have some like level of competitiveness, probably with yourself. 
Not with others. Don't compare yourself to others in their bank accounts, but try and beat yourself with how much you can save or how much you can gain. Because even myself, I think I'm aiming to save $10,000. Like, I know it's not much. Like, I'm in, I'm in low, low income opportunities currently. I'm trying to get an outbound sales job to like accelerate my income. So rather than my time determining my pay, my performance does. So I have sort of more leverage over that. But yeah, ten thousand dollars by I think December, so it's like in five months. It's like saving two thousand dollars. Two thousand? Yeah. No. No. Two thousand two thousand dollars in five months. It's not much. It's like five hundred bucks a month, which most people spend in a lot in a weekend. <laughs> but you want to gamify it. That's why you want to check your bank account. And thirdly. You just don't want to be poor. It's you want to face reality. You want to make it a game. This, these are all reasons to help aid you in your goal of just being financially well off. Because once you're somebody who pays attention to their finances, you can start checking. Oh, that's that's when that bill comes in. Or oh, I've spent so much on that day on dinner. Or I've spent so much on takeout. Like you get to pay attention to. Your, spending habits you eventually you'll get to a point where <laughs> it doesn't really matter like you can like what is fifty dollars when you're making how much twenty five hundred dollars a day like what is fifty bucks for going out to lunch like what like it's all relative to income but we aren't there yet so we have to for myself I'm gonna keep checking my bank balance make it a game so hopefully I can keep facing reality. Still, it's reminding me to get a better opportunity because it's about opportunity at the end of the day. It's, I think, what was it? Warren Buffett said, it's not how hard you row, it's actually the boat you row in. It's about the opportunity. So it's probably best you don't get a nine to five, get like a sales job or a coding, or it's like something high leverage, high, that pays you in your performance rather than in your hourly time because you'll stay forever poor if you try and trade your time for money because time is finite but leverage such as capital labor code media media like the, that's the, like the easiest one to get into that's what i'm doing right now this is like a powerful form of leverage they're infinite these are infinite leverages but your time is finite so you Pay attention, pay attention to your balance, keep checking your balance, like for myself. You might want to put it in a spreadsheet or in an Excel spreadsheet and track your finances, check your expenses, see what you spend so much on. Maybe you should focus on that and reducing that. End of the day, this is all in an effort for you to get into a better position where you can start taking more risk and gaining more because money is just a game. Tokens, players. Again, it's not going to matter <laughs> in the end. We're all going to die eventually. And our tokens get put back on the table. But while we're here, we might as well play. So check your bank balance. Start facing reality. And I hope this video helps.